Alrighty, everyone. Now, um, okay, so I have everything laid out for the full deluxe self-running style and basically what will be required. So this here unit here is all complete and functioning. And uh, so we have a sap second feed here. So basically we're duplicating <laughs> the whole top layer right here. This is everything except we're not dumping to a coil and we're not getting um, our intent is not to call to make a back EMF. Uh, it's to transfer the energy from this cap to this cap. And this cap should be larger. I'm just this is representing you want to use those 39,000 microfarads, 500 volts, as many as you can put there. Okay, get a couple hundred thousand microfarads is going to be tremendous. Then it will run on itself. Okay, so this uh, will dump in tandem at the same voltage or a higher voltage. It can't go lower because it will stop. This is, as I suspect, I have not run this. It will stop the dumping. So that means that because this cap is direct feed when it is on the on cycle, that energy goes into this cap, goes fills this cap, comes through to this cap, okay? And then uh, it builds in this cap. And when this cap is full, he will dump. So if you go to a higher voltage, the dumping rate will be less. Now, the joules will be more, and he will transfer it from this to that, All right? So this will get to 48 volts dumping, uh, not dumping, 48 volts battery charging directly. So as the battery voltage rises, the capacitor voltage will rise. This will always be dumping whatever he is getting and whatever the settings are here. So you could go up to 600 volt dumping, and uh, you're going to have 48 volts here, but I don't know. It should should be fine. It should be fine. I don't know. It has to go through the choke, and we should be good. So I'm going to arrange this all together, and this is like if we didn't do this and we wanted the inverter with the big cap bank scenario, that's what this is here, but used in the application to self-feed. So basically, this 100 microfarads is dumping for output. And this 100 microfarads is dumping for self-running to sustain it. Okay, they are both being charged at the same time and dumping whenever they are ready to dump. They will probably go in tandem. Now, it could get very interesting if you switch the voltages. It will change the frequencies and everything else. And the last video with this... Uh, I forget what he's at. I'll turn him on, though. I think he's at 200. He is at 200 volt dumping, so both of these are unbridged, and that's on the lowest. Okay, he's at uh, 37 volt, 20 amp. It's going like hell. Taking 100 watts, 110 watts, putting out 4.8 amp, and all of a sudden he will probably bust into resonance. Or maybe he needs to be stimulated twice. He did the last time, and then he went to 150 volt uh, watt and 6 amps. So it'll probably do it here the longer it runs. But uh, so what would be going out here, you see, would also be going on down here, into here, and back into it. Okay? So I'm going to assemble this board. And it will work just like that. And that's a pretty damn high frequency of dumping. I don't even know. It's going to be a couple hundred hertz. And, of course, our frequency on the core is going to be the collapse of the harmonics. About 280. We're running about 100 watts. So 100 watts. We're running 2.78 amps. At 37 volts and we are putting out 210 volts 4.2 amps and we're going to build this like I just explained and then that will go back in 
to the battery or a sac separate battery and you toggle. Oh, you can hear it teetering. It's, uh, it's probably going to pop into the higher harmonic here. As soon as it pops out of that, I could maybe... Either that or the MOSFETs might be getting tired or the... There it goes. 4.8 amp and 4.9. 100 watts. So you can probably fine-tune him, right? And find, uh, you know, best running range. But... Uh, Anyways, damn good returns. 100 watts, just under 100 watts. And we are getting 4.8 amps. 278 kilohertz. This is running damn good. So, like I said, I'm going to do this. I guess I'll... Uh, this isn't the right choke. He will have to be rewound, right? Let's turn him down now. Because I know he does self-run. There you can hear different harmonics as we come down. That's not costing anything. Dumping pretty pretty steady there. About a hundred milliamps, most I see, max. Anyways, there you go, it's self running. Literally, um, indefinitely this is 210 volt dumping you can see on the output here for the recharge so i guess we can turn it down down to four volts no we can't go much lower let me just switch this Once he starts, he goes. And I guess you can... You can slow him down once he has started. Looks like about 4.58 is the lowest we can bring him. Well, Maybe 4.6, and he will run stable. So 4.6 volts, using no wattage, zero watts, giving you dumping 210 volts pretty damn quick. 100 milliamps. Uh, the kickback uh, frequencies. Okay. The recharge. So. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start to assemble this outfit. And, uh, yeah, that will be the next board. And then that will be the self-running, high power levels, recharge. So two battery banks is the best way. Then you don't have to worry about this frequency that's coming through here interfering with shit. Put it in a big, big cap, like a blocking cap. Hopefully that will stop it. It might not, but it might. And uh, directly into the battery. Okay, that will constantly recharge your second battery at no cost. It's operating on the snubbers, the back EMF, the collapse of this. So it's a, such a, just an awesome device. But it's a lot of material. I mean, this and this and other heats on and on and on. But we're going to build it. Okay? Have a great day, everyone.
He worked great. He's running on himself right here. Just look. He char he run on no watts. And dump at nice speed. And like I said, okay, okay. Ciao.